John Scott here, backstage at Progress Wrestling Electric Ballroom with the one and only Charles Crowley. Hello. How are we doing? I'm very well, oh, good. but more importantly... How am I? Thank you. Yeah, no, my ear hurts. I've uh, lost all hearing in my ear from that match and they uh, kicked me in the spine. I lost feeling in my legs. Thank you. Carry on. Okay, and your match tonight that we saw, tag team match, um, I don't want to talk too much about the result. No, me neither. I, I figured that. That's why I'm one step ahead of the game. One step ahead of the game. However, I am intrigued to find out. You and Elijah, mm -hmm. tell me about this relationship. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I'm drawn to Elijah. I've been drawn to Elijah from the very beginning. This guy, uh, he just embodies what professional wrestling is all about and look at him he is just a machine his body is so tight um, but he can move fast he can hit hard he's everything he's got an aura about him that is just incredibly intense and I know from my journey that that's something I admire that's something I want so obviously I'm gonna learn from a man like that but I also feel like I have something to offer him therefore it's kind of the perfect team you know I offer something for him he offers something for me tit for tat you know what I mean Absolutely, and, and you guys, great chemistry. Now, I want to ask you, in terms of going forward, progress wrestling, is it Charles Crowley in the singles, or is it Charles Crowley in tag team? Where would you rather be? My focus right now, for various reasons that I cannot say, is Elijah. And what I will say is that I have a plan, and it all revolves around Elijah. Okay, Elijah, I've said it before and I'll say it again, Elijah is a future progress champion. What kind of champion? I don't know. Hey, maybe it is the tag team championships. Wouldn't that be fab? But like, I have a plan. I can see things. I've seen something and I'm just going with it. This is all happening the right way. Okay. There you go. Moving parts. Moving parts. Now, off subject, I'm going to ask you a little bit more personal questions now going to divulge out of wrestling somewhat here right. and I'm going to ask you what is your last film you've seen at the cinema Batman rated how, how, how good was it good good bad in between so I'll tell you a little something about Batman so first 20 minutes I was like okay this is okay. this is this is this is pretty good I quite like the vibe but then I really needed the toilet so I left for the toilet uh, and I came back like 15 minutes later so it took me a few more minutes to get into it. But, so first half aside, the second half really enjoyed. My only issue, and then this is a genuine thing, they're presenting this film, right, as like super gritty and real and, and, and awesome and like, ooh, who is this guy, mysterious? What, you know, I'm, I'm the shadows. But also, his branding is fantastic. You know, if he's really the shadows, like you guys agree, have you guys seen Batman? Yeah, have you seen it? Okay, so basically... They're nodding their heads. Yeah, they're nodding their heads, okay. But he's the shadows, but his branding is fantastic. So is he the shadows? Does he want people to know who he is? He's got a cape. Why has he got a cape? Also, his little bat ears, no joke. I've never been bothered by them before. In this film, they're presenting him as like legit. And he's got these little bat ears. He's kissing people. He's all kind of horny. And he's got these little bat ears. And I couldn't get past that. So I give it four out of 10 Crowleys. Four out of ten Crowleys. Yeah, um, I tell you, while we're on the side, who is the favourite Batman of, of all the history? Who is the actor? Who is Batman to you? Controversial, but I like Ben Affleck. Yeah. That is controversial. It is. It's because I like I like how old and, and crumpled up and broken he was. I thought that was badass. Fair enough. Um, and finally, another question away from wrestling. Ooh. Last album you listened to? Um, maybe a, uh, uh, something you played recently. Last thing you've listened to? Every time I ask this, people always, it takes a while. Because it is. Yeah, that's a tricky one. It's either show tunes or, I'm not sure about album, but it'll be Avenge Sevenfold. It's usually Avenge Sevenfold. Avenge Sevenfold. Dry, dry mouth from uh, Serious Fight. Um, yeah, no, Avenge Sevenfold for sure. They're, they're my gym music. They're my hype music. That's my vibe. There you go. Well, we found out a little bit more about you. Thank you very much for coming on. And before you go, where can we find you? Okay, so you can find me at Crowley Carnival, that's on Twitter, at Crowley Carnival, that's on Facebook, and also on Instagram, guess what, at Crowley Carnival. Uh, that's where you can find me. This is freaking progress. 
keep your eyes open because next week we have everything patterned. Literally anyone, can you imagine missing everything patterned? And I know, you know, it's all like, okay, Crowley, he's, he's hyping everything patterned. Genuinely, can you imagine missing everything patterned? Uh, you've got Who Runs the World, that's going to be mad. There's so much talent showcase this, this week. Uh, annoyingly, I'm not on it. Also, where's Clementine? Saw that out progress. But that's where you can find me. Keep your eyes peeled. This is going to be sick. I'm a twat. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs>